Archbishop Edward A. McCarthy High School is dedicated to the formation of tomorrow's leaders through a Roman Catholic experience that provides excellence in atmosphere, academics, activities, the arts, and athletics. Our mission is to be one of the most innovative, influential, and accomplished Roman Catholic schools in the nation. Today is Friday, February 24th. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, open our hearts to you. Help us in this world of temptation. Help all young men and women that are suffering to give them strength in you. May our mother intercede and guide us to you. Help students and staff to grow in the faith and be generous in always helping others in need. Continue, O Lord, to give us and guide us to eternal life. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please turn to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Mavericks. I'm Olivia Torre. And I'm Ali Gutierrez. Today is Friday, February 24th, and we will be running on a regular A through J period schedule. Before we begin with the news, let's head over to Justin with sports. Good morning, Mavericks. I'm feeling fantastic on this Friday edition of Mav Sports Minute. Without further ado, let's get the ball rolling. Congratulations to our Lady Maverick wrestlers. The team finished fourth in the district and three, wrestler, three wrestlers qualified for the regional tournament on February 18th at Wellington High School. Kylia Villavintencio placed fourth, Anna Sophia Baker placed second, and Talis Alao placed first. Best of luck at, at regionals, Lady Mavericks. Over to the men's side. Congratulations are in or also in order to the boys wrestling team for their third place team finish at the district tournament yesterday. Nine wrestlers qualified for the regional tournament at Bayside High School in Palm Bay. Brian Trivaldos placed sixth. Jacob Torres placed fifth, Preston Ham, Kainoa Villavencio, and Dylan Ibanez each placed fourth. Andrew Cackett placed third, Maximiliano Munoz Lysias placed second, and big applause for Amari Lewis, Luis Rosa, Matthew Rojas, and Michael Hernandez, who were all district champs. Best of luck at regionals, Mavericks. Finally, a huge shout out to our Lady Maverick weightlifting team who traveled to the state competition in Lakeland this past weekend. Despite stiff competition, our girls absolutely dominated on the platform. Aya Mohamed sealed 4th place in the 139 weight class with a 320 Olympic total. Gabby Gutierrez pulled a 2nd place with a 220 Olympic total in the 101 weight class. Diana Kilos lifted 2 second places with a 335 Olympic total and a 385 traditional total. And last, but most definitely not least, a huge congratulation to Mav News' very own Jordan Thomas, the 119 weight class FHSAA state champion with a whopping 285 Olympic total. Recognition is also in order to Ireland O'Brien, Emily Andrade, Gianna Spadafino, Sofia Vallejo, and Sofia Morale, who all performed very well. That's all you'll hear from, from me today, Mavericks. I'm Justin. See you next week. We want to give a huge thanks to all those who came out to support our Black History Month event. We love seeing our Mavericks show up and give their support. Let's see who we have for today's Black History Month honoree. Amanda Gorman was born on March 7, 1998 in Los Angeles, California. She's a cum laude graduate of Harvard University, where she studies psychology. Gorman is a poet, award-winning writer, and activist renowned for her works that address racial equality, gender rights, marginalization, and climate change. For CBS This Morning, Amanda has delivered a number of specialty commissioned poems, and she has also recited her poems at numerous gatherings and venues around the nation, including the Library of Congress and the Lincoln Center. She has been honored by Scholastic Inc., Young Arts, The Glamour Magazine, College Woman of the Year Awards, The Webby Awards, Aussie Media, Barnes & Noble, and Urban World. She has authored articles for the New York Times publication, The Edit, and the Nike 2020 Black History Month Marketing Manifesto. She climbed popularity when she read her poem, The Hill We Climb, at the 2021 U.S. Presidential Inauguration, making her the youngest inaugural poet in U.S. history. 
Amanda Gorman's Inauguration Day poem, The Hill We Climb, is a powerful message to action, focusing on themes of hope, unity, healing, and resilience. Thank you so much, Mavericks, for the support on Black History Month. It really means a lot. Mavericks, Camilla still needs our help. So if you want to support the cause, then buy the tickets early so there's enough food. Use the Acceptiva form on Canvas or on screen. Shirt sales have already closed, but we can still support Camilla in her fight. Share the Acceptiva link with friends and family so they can use the donate box. The event is open to the entire community. Don't forget to check out McCarthy's new club, Mavericks. Our very own Dr. O'Neill and other 10th grade theology teachers, Mr. Grevins and Mr. G, have started a club named Friends Through Faith. The club provides students the opportunity to grow in friendship with both God and others rooted in faith. The meetings are every Tuesday before and after school. And there are frequent events and socials to allow students to explore different aspects of living in the faith. Your theology teachers have a flyer with more information. This is an excellent way to spiritually connect with your peers, so don't forget to stop by and see what Friends Through Faith is all about. Mavericks, if you love sports and social media, we have a great opportunity for you to earn service hours just for showing up at the game and taking a few pictures and videos. For more information, email Ms. Stutzman at lstutzman at mccarthyhigh.org. If you have any sports photos you'd like to share with the yearbook staff for a chance to appear on sports fans' pages, please submit them by scanning the QR code. Today is the last day for this. I love your Mav News gear. And I love yours. Mavericks, if you want to get your own Mav News merch, scan the QR code on the screen to participate in our team shop. And you too can rep Mav News on campus. If you have any questions, contact Ms. Stutzman or Mr. Baru. And finally for lunch, the cafeteria will be serving soup du jour, stuffed shells with marinara sauce, cheesy bread, and glazed carrots. Well, that's all we have for today. I'm Alec. And I'm Olivia. Have, have a wonderful, wonderful Friday, Mavs. Mavs.